set, go. All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and introduce this one for everyone. And I've Travis' stream a fair amount, and I just wanted to say thank you for listening. And if you're tuned in right now, it's about to be a wacky, totally interesting ride into some chess worlds with some Amazons. The variation, but it's kind of a mix between Go and chess. Dual kind of meeting plays, and sometimes I wonder get Go players to play chess or chess players to play Go. Travis, this is where I'd like you to come in. <laughs> okay. Like, what do you think is the main gateway between so you see what I'm saying? Do you see it more as a gateway? And like that's kind of the transfer point where people are going from chess players into Go players combined? Or is it going the other way where Go players are finding chess? You get what I'm saying? I think it's that it's chess players are finding Go. So I feel like chess is something that's a little more mainstream. Right? Um, I don't know. Uh... What's the overall amount of people who play Go or chess? I think. I mean, I think overall people, it, it's probably Go. Really? Oh yeah, because it's just yeah, it's not a non-Western thing. That's what I was saying. It's not as Western. So in the West, though, chess would certainly be more played than Go, right? Yeah. yeah. I find. I think that from the West perspective, I feel like Amazon's is a way for Westerners to get into Go. It's not an interesting theory whether it's true or not, isn't it? It would be a nice one to. It would probably have fruitful ends. I guess before I answer that, uh, let's start. Yeah, uh, you might have to push something. I don't know. Shit! Here we fucking go, dude. <laughs> Oh, it's, uh, it's your turn. Okay. Um, I think it's. I, I feel it's more like chess than go. Um, but I could be just saying that because I'm used to fairly weird chess variants. Oh, I see what I gotta do. Okay. Um, so anyone doesn't know, we're trying to have the last move or trap the other people's queens. There is no capture. You move a queen to a empty square, and then you shoot a square uh, in, a, in a queen direction, um, and that square becomes inaccessible for the entire game. That's Amazon's. We'll see that was that. a pretty good move by me, actually. I haven't seen it yet. No? I think that was a really good move by me, I'll be honest. About that move. See, I think of it like this when I'm playing Travis. Don't you kind of think of it as like square availability for each queen? So it's like my targets to put on is I think what's the target that's going to make you have take away the most of your line of sights? That's how I see it. Think of it is like each move is going to try to take away as much possible moves as the other player right yeah you definitely want to restrict <laughs> I mean but that that could be set in chess too uh, like you want to restrict the moves of the players but that's only one aspect of it so it kind of plays on that it's like it's like layers that. you know onions and ogres you know it's, it's pretty much like that they have layers have layers, dude. They're actually layered. So, it's so, so um, oh, it's chess or go. Um, oh, like, what are you thinking about? I mean, I know there are games that combine chess and go that I haven't really played, and because they can't be played online, they're not popular. They're probably ridiculous. Um. Go. 
go chess. There's one, two, three. Yeah, this looks kind of ridiculous. Uh, all the different moves that you as possible. You no, know, I would say you're winning pretty, pretty well right now. I'm winning pretty well. Yeah, I think you're winning. <laughs> That's fairly significant. So you're winning pretty well right now. Got two bunched up queens on the side, and you kind of got me. At better spread. What's on the matter? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <God> damn it! <laughs> this bitch is strong. <laughs> he just fucked up my shit. Shit just got ished. So there's one person that tweet tweet messaged me. I don't know what that means. One time and asked if I knew any. Chess Go games, and I sent them this. Go Chess. And I did not read it, and I know I, like, glanced at it before, and I looked at it like this, and I was like, wow, that's ridiculous. Um, and now I apologize to whoever I sent that to, because I don't even want to what read it. What did you say? No, no, tell me again. Someone messaged me one time asking about if there's any combination between Go and Chess. Combination of Go and Chess? Yes. Are you thinking about your move, aren't you? Oh, man. I just want to tell everyone how much I enjoy just playing to Travis. <laughs> it's pretty fucking amazing. Man, so I'll just go ahead and say, like, uh, you have such a great time, man. I feel like it's always it's interesting. I agree. And I thank you. Yes, I know. Oh, let's see. Oh, interesting. <clears throat> I'm definitely fucked. But one move when you hit that, when you covered up the D, you're at the. When you did the D, the D five, and then you did the D C at the same time. No, it was oh no no, it was the C five, and then when you did the B five together. C five and C, C four and B five. C five and B five. That went with that one move. You know what I mean? C four and B five. Yeah, C four and B five. Excuse me. Yeah, when you did that, yep. I knew I was fucked. <laughs> pretty much just totally fucked also I don't really know I mean it's definitely I definitely feel like a better like in the better position but see how like you still we still have you still have two in a very very open position and <laughs> that's not I mean <laughs> I know I've won games that, I mean, I don't know, I think, I don't know if it's many, but I know I've won a game like that before. Right, because at the end, it's really whoever has one more open queen. Because, you know what I mean? Yeah. Matters, as long as you're the one who can have the, like, yeah. Really interesting. move to choose right here. I feel like this move could define the game for me. You know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it could, dude. Like, you know how when you think of chess as like a 
a piece of artwork. You know what I mean? I yeah. Okay. We're drawing the eyes. You know what I mean? We're drawing the eyes. We're drawing the emotion from the face right now. Like this is right here when you're about to hit the the edge of the eyelid. Make the piece, and I just know that I need to do a good. This will define whether it's a work of art or a piece of shit. <laughs> what I mean? Uh. <laughs> 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 you don't get it. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm about to see the move, I guess. All right. It's a pretty good move, man. Because it gives me still a lot of space, and then it fucks up one of your main entrances. It's gonna be a work of art, dude. What you need to do right now. Ooh, good move. That was a good move, dude. Thank you. <laughs> I want to <laughs> limit... <laughs> I'm trying to limit your options. <laughs> <laughs> While maximizing my own. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't need to cover that one up, man. C3 was... I mean, queens can escape. <laughs> they're not knights. I mean, they. I mean, I, they get into a position where, especially they're since I'm players. leaving that area. I mean, they can't jump shit. Though. I mean, yeah, of course. Isn't it? What was that? I think I did a somewhat engaging move there. Engaging move, yes. It was, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> don't you just love how, like, the shit I say? Right? It engaged me into the game, and I'm going to be much more engaged <laughs> now that that move has happened. <laughs> So now you're you're fairly engaged. Uh, you see how when I move, uh, it generally brings engagement on your part when I enter the move. Aren't you uh, feeling that engagement with the technology right now? That makes sense. I'll wait for your move, dude. I'm excited. I'm pretty excited too. Love how much time you put on the clock because it just allows like. Uh... <laughs> I'm serious. I'm not joking. I'm enjoying this a lot. I like this feeling of like. I'll do. I'll do a little bit less for next. About each for move, next game. you know. Yeah. That's when you get a better game. Is when people can really like talk when they want to. It allows an easier flow, for conversation, but it also allows you to be like, wait. I need to calculate. It still allows it to be free, you know? I, I do like this variant for a, a, a podcast. I can hear you make the move. Interesting. How did you like that move? And then I can hear when you receive it. Definitely want to move that guy now. Get out of there. 
Seems like. <laughs> yeah, that would probably be wise. Starting to get a little bit limited on his space. He now only has one one uh, Y axis to work with. Uh, north and south side and put that together that'll just be like one one y axis on this graph here and that's winning for a queen they have eight eight different points that they can go to once they're limited down to two po exit points trapping situation wouldn't you say Nine, nine spaces. It's a 10 by 10 board. No, 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 no. Think about the queen's valence. So how many different... I can... I, this queen on J7 right now can currently move to nine spaces. Oh, I'm talking about the spatial axes that they're allowed to go on. Right? So north be one axis. Axie. Southeast. West. South, uh, it's, uh, west, and then northwest, and then you're back to north. Kind of, you see what I'm saying? So a queen has eight axis points. A queen to only two. A north and a south. That was a pretty good move. I would say. I would say out of all the moves, it wasn't my favorite, but I'm not... I, like all the other moves... I I've, think that's a pretty incredible move, I'll be honest. It's pretty good. It is hard to say. That's a great move, dude. I think I got a better one though. <laughs> <laughs> that out, dude. Come on. Like, so I see it's interesting valence in this game is that you can either play as a team, so you can think of two, your moves as, as teammates, right? So you have your first teammate, which is your first move, and teammate, which is your second move. And so you can either choose to put those two moves in context to do one thing and one thing, or you can separate each move to do two things. And see how in this variant uh, of how you could do it, I use it for two different purposes. Of where I moved my queen was to work on limiting this uh, J3 queen that you have here. But also then my second move was to do a really decisive blow against your a7 queen thing yeah that's a good move what move are you pondering at this point moving the j3 queen i'm not really sure also like the e6 queen that seems like a good one to move yeah, because that one has a lot of space right now. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you I think that's the one you need to move because that one has the most space right now. <laughs> Just unfortunate if you left it and then I took away that space. A place where you can uh, max, where you can get to a place where you have a lot of space but also a lot of axes. You just want the most axes points. Like right now you only have, let's see, so you're, I would say that your your northwest is a great axis point because you can access all this upper space here, but you can also escape to the other side. That's probably your best axis point right here is your um, northwest and the um, southeast. That kind of plane right there, thing to, to have. So I'd almost want to keep on to that. Maybe stay on that axis. Go somewhere there. And use that so that you're still open to one direction, no matter which way you go. Then, but then the point is, what what are you going to do for that second move? And you got to choose where you want to give yourself points for that. 
but I think you should stay along that northwest and southeast axis. Do you agree? I'm going to just make this move. Okay. <clears throat> if you kept my point or you defied it. I wonder if you took my advice or not. Whoa. <clears throat> I don't. I don't know. Let's see how it plays. This is hard, dude. <laughs> that was terrible. Hmm. I think that's pretty dumb, don't you? It's a pretty bad move, I have to admit. Should be able to win at this point. Agree? Uh, I hope so. Um, <laughs> the Discord, its speed is pretty nice, isn't it? It's not like one of the main things that uh, gamers use to contact now and play. Yeah, it's a pretty popular thing. I mean, it's one of the better ones, right? Like, wouldn't you say... It's almost always tight. Like it's a well-run company, don't you think? Uh, I, 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 I couldn't comment on business stuff, I wouldn't say. I don't know. Uh, I mean, can't you tell from the functionality of it that someone has to be doing something right? And it's always so well-managed? I mean, can't you assume Well, I mean, I mean, Facebook works and works correctly. That doesn't mean it's... A great, moral, awesome company. I don't know. <laughs> Back quick on that one. Jesus, fuck. I, I planned out that response. I was like, well, I was planning to move that one down first. But I figured that would be easier to trap off than the other one. Oh, so you moved your C5? Yeah, I trapped it off. Where didn't your move come in yet? Oh, I don't know. No. I moved J3 to I4. Oh, I see. Uh, but so mentioning like the time limit, like we play on green chess and that doesn't have a clock, so that's usually. I mean, that's a common thing, I think. What? Like we we play on green chess a lot, and green chess doesn't have a clock, so. Fucked. Fortunes have changed. <laughs> Hmm. 
Do you know that Allegheny County is was uh, rated the number two worst air quality in the nation? Nope, I have nope, I'm not aware of that. Crazy. That's where I live. <laughs> Oh boy. I didn't see that one escape. Oh. That's so actually... bad. <laughs> What's bad? Was that a good move? I can't ex escape now, I think. I think it's a good move, what I did? Yeah, it's pretty good. During I'm fucking up. I go for all but that ground moved. You don't care about the NBA at all, do you? NBA, NBA. I can't say. No. I mean, what do you mean by care? <laughs> <laughs> like, do you watch the games? Do you like keep up on YouTube with the scores? And like, I watch a condensed version where every single made basket is strung, strung together. Uh, no, you no, you, I can, could, you, you I, just watch only the main, the only the made baskets. So you can watch a two-hour game in fifteen minutes and feel the entire flow of the game. Because sometimes they'll actually mix it up with just fights that happen in the game. They'll mix it up with key moments towards the last final two minutes, or they'll randomly put in a block instead of a made mm. shot. So you're never quite sure if what's going to end up happening is a block. So it takes out, it always makes it actually engaging because you don't know if you're going to see a block or you're going to see made points. So each time you're in the moment of not knowing what really happened. And that's really awesome when they add that, right? Because if they had only done the main baskets, made baskets, it would kind of always put a valence on everything that's happening. Like, oh, I know it's going to be a main basket made basket but when you think it could be a block it makes you feel like you're in the moment of the time of the game in that in that very interesting thing you can watch a 15 minute full track of a emotional game in two hours in 15 minutes instead of the two hours that it generally takes at least the program it's generally two and a half it can stretch to that easily so it's a really engaging way to to uh, keep up with what's going on in the NBA, but then um, all that time, you know, and I just skip all the shitty sports crowds, you know, <laughs> so it's like I don't have to deal with that shit, but I can still enjoy it on my own terms. Uh, there was some fight that I looked up, it was some fight in the NBA where the players started beating up the crowd. Let's run our test. And that was the so. last thing I watched. I mean, not like, like, that's it's not like the last thing, like, I watched it, and that was the last thing I watched. The Meta World Peace? It was, no, it was like, I, I looked that up on YouTube, and I haven't really watched basketball. I don't really, I don't watch basketball, really, but I looked that up on YouTube, and that was Ever play growing up? Yeah, um, I was better at other sports, and I got pretty good, I got good at, like, free throws, but, uh. I mean, I didn't. I didn't stay with it as long as. Stay with swimming the longest, I guess. And soccer and tennis. 
And running, I guess, running. What's Connor doing? Oh. Put that here. Dang it. Uh, Connor is in the Navy. Talk about that later if we're off air. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'd like to just be fully honest. I think being honest and just it adds a really interesting flavor to a podcast. Oh, I mean, not just speaking about Connor. Like, I have other friends that work in government, and I've shown my distrust slash uh, I don't know. I don't know exactly how to put it, but like government my distrust for government. my complete other distrust di dislike of extreme unethical behavior that seems to never go away. In our government? Yes. I think our government's pretty corrupt, because whenever I talk to other people from other countries, they're always like, America's government's the least corrupt government in the world. Like, you should know our shit. Like, I was talking to my friend from, um, Nigeria. Yeah. He said, it is so well, corrupt. yeah. I mean, I I definitely think other governments are probably more corrupt or extremely corrupt in different ways. Uh, I would say they might be more. Cause, or it might just be because they have less money, so it just feels worse. You know what I mean? Agree, yeah. or am I saying something controversial? No, I mean it's de it's a it would be just a bias. Like, it it feels different to us because we pride ourselves with <laughs> green paper. <laughs> so like, it, it's really funny. Like looking back at through time and different currencies. Like I remember, I remember there's one currency that just whoever had like the biggest rock. <laughs> Like, if you had a big rock, you were just considered wealthy. <laughs> and so then it got to a point where people would just be like, yeah, I have this big rock, but I can't move it, and it's over there. <laughs> then that's what, but see, what happens in those societies is it's mattering, and what actually happens is what matters is social standing. Do you see what I'm saying? Well, so, I mean. Because at that point, you get what I'm saying? Because at that point, you can't, uh, can't ever prove it. So you're only going to believe someone based upon their social standing in the society. Do you get what I'm saying? Well, that's... If, if everyone I mean, starts to realize that you could just lie about your boulder, everyone's going to realize, okay, we can't trust everyone. Valence that's really going to get people to believe that you have the boulder is probably your social standing within the society. Well, so to, to get more... That makes sense? I mean, but to get more kind of... Like, we can't see... For most work, we can't see, like, our colleagues pay. We don't... Like, for the first time in history... I know, getting political. I don't, I don't want to get too political. But for the first time in history... It might not even be the first time. I don't know. Um... We have not seen the president's tax returns. And, like, it's at least been rumored that he lies about how much money he has to make it seem like uh, he's extremely wealthy to make it easier uh, for deals or to have deals or something. I don't know. I, I, I mean... I wouldn't be any authority on that. Um, you think getting Trump out is one of the biggest things we need to do? No, not necessarily. Um, like, I just think more of the change comes Maybe even at the county. I don't know. Maybe this... Probably the state level, but I would even... 
<laughs> probably the personal or even like I guess more the, sm the smallest level. Like I was thinking about, like, because I was thinking about how we like, you know, it, it should be focused on the individual at a point, uh, but like, at least trying to think of it as like a nice, nice, uh, like musical point. Like everyone just showed up to rehearsal. Uh, actually knowing their music, like, it makes things a lot easier. So more like if everyone just got their shit together. Like, I, th I think a lot that, like, a lot of, like, you know, how many, what percentage of citizens are just, like, I'm not, like, saying it's a bad thing, but, like, going to the world, you know, completely unaware. Like, like, I, I wouldn't, like, I just realized this about myself, like, I'm, with all the education I've had going, like, I've never taken one ethics class. That's never been, okay. like... Took an ethics class in college. Nice. I read an amazing paper, and my teacher was like, holy shitty fuck, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> and, like, <laughs> he was like, this is one of the most ambitious papers by anyone in my time. I was writing and I was fucking like freshman, dude. Papers um, but so, so, so I was just thinking about like how most most people. I mean, I don't know. I mean, but like I think a lot of philosophy is important, and that's just my. I guess that could just be my point of view, and I think how so little philosophy or psychology is really in today's society or something. I mean. I know it's become have definitely is becoming more popular. What is psychology and philosophy? What I always have said, change uh, around and stuff from my perspective. Like what's happening right now is the two <laughs> false, false things claims, but these past these two ba past false claims and like right now we're having a break and i would consider it um basically i would say that it's where objective science subjective experience that's what i what i would say is where both of us are in oh we right? got time i know but do you get what i'm saying i mean i guess a point <laughs> gets to the what I, I said I guess to a point I can only I can only comprehend something so much but I mean you know what I'm saying objective science may, meets subjective experience yeah that makes sense like that's where our society's at cause like we're starting to be able to map the brain. Um, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. shit's growing. I think I'm definitely going to lose. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I get, I'll get almost all the squares <laughs> except for... I don't think there's any, any doubt about that. That's so funny, man. It's a it's a really fun winning condition for a chess game for me. Just getting to trap someone else. That seems really funny to me. So funny to you. Funny guy? 
I mean, you know, uh, checkmating the king. Some, you know, sometimes just feels, uh, you know, not always as fun. So. Screw this up, dude. You still have a chance to lose. I still have a chance to lose? You think so? <laughs> I think you don't have a chance to lose, actually. There's no real chance of losing this game. <laughs> <laughs> Would you agree? Uh, I'd have to mess up pretty bad. Would it even be possible? I could trap myself, theoretically, I mean. But I don't even think it's possible now. You could do the worst possible move you could think of and you'd still beat me. There's no way I could... I could trap my possible. three bottom queens fairly easy if I tried. I could do it. I don't think you can do it. I don't think there's enough moves for me to be able to do it. Because I only <laughs> have maybe four moves left. Yeah. <laughs> take away. You know what I mean? Yeah. Try it. See if you can do it. Okay. You can possibly lose. You don't have to play the move. But just go through in your mind and I'll tell least, me. Yeah, at least, at least, dude, I'll try one or two of them. Right, go, go ahead. Sure. Oh, my bad. Just do one of those moves where you're going to try to try to lose. I, I, watch. Yeah. See, <laughs> look. I have to do one of these shitty moves. You see what I mean? Yeah. Try your next shitty move. Try to really fuck yourself. So be this bottom one. You just cover up your uh, the F3 and the G3. I see, man. There's no hope, dude. It's Cause look how many moves I already have. <laughs> just keep, just keep trying it. Uh, see if you can really. Let's see if it's even possible for you to lose. I think that it would be interesting if you did your D seven, and then. Oh, fuck yeah! There you go. What's wrong with you? Sorry. Are you not trying to lose? I mean, I made a pretty bad move for myself, I would say. <laughs> I would say not, dude. There was a better move for you there. Lost. Why are you beating me, dude? Come on. To lose. Oh, you know, I was right all along. There's not even enough moves, dude. There's nothing you could ever do with it. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. <laughs> Great game. Dude, why do we always have so much fun, man? It's ridiculous. It's illegal. It's illegal. illegal. It should not. We shouldn't be allowed to enjoy our existence this much. I mean, that's a good point. I guess that's a that could be further discussion. Or should we be allowed to enjoy our existence this much? If you want to, I mean, should I be this free in my own skin to just love things? 
That's a good question. A question I'll have to ask another time, or at least the viewers another time. So thanks for watching Amazons. Hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye. Hope you enjoyed it.